this is my last day here. Uh, this is the old house thing at the last day at, at the old con. Let's go. Kitchen. I've been flying away. They're just so used to people close. Go look at this. Oh! There we go. I love the coloring on this fursuit. Very cute as well, I love it. Please, your attention, just for a moment. Welcome to the Ohio Meet. I am your host, Blue Street. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements before we really get rolling here. This, this is going to be kind of a, just a free form, just people talk and mingle and hang out with everybody kind of meet. Woo! Pippo, let's go! <laughs> oh, nice! Color ch No, uh, expression changing! Yay! Aw, very cute. Ah. Another angel dragon, yay! Also very cute, yay! Oh, hug? Yay! Mm. <laughs> There's a really dapper bird and a really pretty uh, white lion. Oh, tigers! Shoot, I messed it up! Whoops! Uh. Hmm, bird wings, huh? <laughs> Might consider it, but nothing's the right shade of color for me. Oh well. I did not expect a mascot costume here. Very cute. I love it. We have Wolf from Star Fox. Oh no, the villain is here. Man, why is the father water so expensive? Good lord. <laughs> this time I'm at Dealer's Out. Not Dealer's. Sorry, Artist Den. The, uh, yeah, the artist area. I'm gonna see what's available and see what's not. I'll see how it goes. End up buying another blind mystery box for pins again. <laughs> oh, we got another fish. Oh wait, is that a fishing rod? It's a male. Ah, okay. Thank you. And uh, thank you. There are a bunch of. Oh, this size got kind of empty to be honest. Whoops. There's other artists here. Sorry, my bad. Uh, more artists over here. Good brushes as well. Lots of uh, more artists. There's more artists and fursuits and all that such around here. Lots of them too. I just can't show all of it because my feet are hurting right, really bad right now. We have a wolf, very dapper too. Thank you. We got a very pretty bird with some interesting wing designs. I would like, I like it a lot. Look at all the boats on this river. Boats on the river. Who the hell says that loud? Why? There's a game going on over there. Aww. Rabbit fursuit. How cute. My heart's gonna melt. Ah. Uh. And he's a kitty cat and also very cute. You can tell the eyes have LEDs as well. Aww. Oh my goodness! Ah! I was, I'm hoping coffee! Oh wow, that's a big tail. Woo! Aww. Old Jester, let's go. Bells on the free as well. Oop. Very understanding, I love it. I like the like color pattern on this fursuit. Very nice. 
Oh, I like it when like fursuits are also cool at the same time. It's very nice. Here, here we got a like, magical lion, and I believe that is the staff of a wizard. Oh no, you're gonna zap me, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, cute tiger. Oh shoot! It's the wizard! Ah! Well, it is time for the dealer room to completely pack up. It's not even a den, it's just a giant room at this point. There's cars in here, just like, you know, packing quicker so you don't have to walk all the way to the parking lot. Even the booths back there, all of them are just packing up immediately. It closed at uh, 4, right now it is 4.23, so I missed 4.20, that sucks, oh well. We have a Lucario. Oh boy, they have a really strong aura. Let's go! Ah! I got a free fursuit tag, even though I don't have a fursuit. Oh, this is great for future. Let's go! Good evening, everyone. Before we get down to closing ceremonies, if you are sitting next to an empty seat, Shift in. We want to try to get as many people in so that they can see what's happening here. As oh, sorry, I did. I uh, got ahead of Vic here. Um, before we start with all the speechifying and all that stuff, so yes, push in, get yourselves uh, comfortable with your neighbor. We had a very, very special guest who joined us from Japan this year. He had a wonderful performance on Friday, and before he returns to Japan, he was he was hoping he might show you a little bit more of the magic in this, the year of the dragon. Is that all right? Sanjuma-san, <laughs> Closing ceremonies will be kept very, very short. <laughs> I'd like uh, to introduce, as they make their way up the ramp back there, the people who really make this event happen, uh, or at least the people who guide the fantastic staff and volunteers we have, Anthrocon's board of directors. chairs because I don't like spending money. We only put out as many here as we're going to need. Almost. Did we make it? Psst, maybe guys backstage, can we have one more chair, please? No, you never stand back up.
Okay, this has been uh, something of a, a very, very eventful year for us. Uh, a, a test year. There are a number of new things we tried out. Many of them worked, some of them didn't work as, as well as we had hoped, and in the, the spirit, of course, of continually improving your Anthrocon experience, we will be fine-tuning our operation for next year, as we always do. And what I would like to do is we, we might as well just start at the right and work down, and the individual directors can tell you, number one, who they are, and what their uh, message to all of you on this final night of Anthrocon is. Let's start with uh, Mr. Ronnie. Hey, Anthrocon, how's it going? I hope you all have a wonderful convention, and as Dr. Conway there introduced, my name is Ronnie, and I am your Director of Digital Services here. I oversee everything that uh, has to do with the website, with social media, with our community platforms, and uh, community messaging. Really, if it happens on the internet, it probably goes through my team and I. Uh, I'll keep it really short. I hope all of you share all your memories, all your moments, all of those special things that happened at Anthrocon to all of the social media that you were on. Of course, we have our platforms like X, formerly known as Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Blue Sky, and so on and so forth. There's far too many to name, but keep on sharing it, and it's a very valuable source of information for us because, believe me when I say, we do read it and we do want to improve based on what you tell us. And speaking of improvement as well, there's another Another thing I'd like to call out, which is every year we, at, we release a feedback survey to all registered attendees. And it's very, very important that everybody here and watching, if you're watching from your room, that you fill out this feedback survey, not only just for Anthrocon, but for the David L. Lawrence Convention Center as well. Because without this feedback, we won't be able to tell how we should grow to serve you better for future conventions. So my message to you all is please, if you want to see this convention getting better, and growing in the right directions, please, please, please fill up that feedback survey when it's sent out, which will be within a week's time from the convention's ending. But other than that, I will say that it has been an absolute honor to be able to serve you all, and I truly, truly hope you had the time of your lives here at Anthrocon this year. kind of oversee the staff in general, headcounts and whatnot, and our volunteers. Um, we had over 300 volunteers sign up, uh, and that's just volunteers and just as many staff. That's over 600 people who are just hiding in the background and trying to make this happen. I would like to hear a big round of applause for every staff. <laughs> If you wish to volunteer next year, the new form will be on anthrocon.org probably in a month or so. If you, you know, feel you have a couple hours and you happen to be attending, please, by all means, sign up, give us a few hours without our volunteers. We are all volunteers on this stage and out in the background. It is a volunteer organization. Without them, this literally could not exist. So we definitely want to thank them whenever we get a chance. Give the hug, give the thank you. There's also other hidden departments like the DLCC's exhibition partners and my logistics crew, so we'll take care of that. Another thing, so you all bounce around so a lot and you drop a lot of things, so many things. We found some of them. So, 
We handle lost and found over in 309 convention operations. We've been doing that all weekend. Some of you may have come and gotten some things. No. -uh. So uh, we're going to be able to probably fulfill some of that for the next hour or two as we uh, box things up. However, when uh, we eventually have to leave town, we're going to. It's going to be a couple days until we can get back with you on those requests if we have not rejoined you with your items. Crucial travel items such as driver's licenses, keys, uh, you know, uh, passports, all that kind of stuff, debit cards, those will be left specifically with the Weston's front desk crew. So that way, you know, it doesn't, you know, drive home with us. That way we want to make sure you can get home safely and securely. Um, if you come across an item that you want to describe it to us, uh, before we get the socials out, you can email us, and correct me if this one's wrong, uh, lostandfound at anthrocon.org. Uh, provide a detailed description, certain color, there's a thing that does a thing. If you have a picture of that item, please attach it. It makes it a lot easier to compare it to our records. Um, and if you have any other general information that, does, that the survey does not cover, our general mailbox is info at anthrocon.org. I'll direct it where it needs to go from there, but there's a whole list of email addresses on anthrocon.org under contact us. You can pick the right department and we'll see if we can get back with you. Once again, thank you very much and we look forward to taking care of you next year. Good afternoon, I'm Pete. Too long, we're going to need to expand the dealer's room. What do you think about moving the art show upstairs to a bunch of meeting rooms on the Riverside? And I was very doubtful at the time, so we went back and forth and we looked at plans and tried things, and last year we did sort of a mock-up of how it would look, and I fell in love with it. So here we are. Where uh, we look like an art gallery now. How many of you went up to the art show and then uh, looked at the show? <laughs> so we are very grateful for all of that, and uh, the artists love it. And it's a little bit of a strain on the staff because of how things are stretched out, but we made it work. And I, I give kudos to my staff and all the volunteers who helped us make it happen, and we love it, and uh, we're looking forward to doing that for the foreseeable future. Thank you. I'm Tiger Wolf. I've been at every single one of these except for one, which was last year, when I made the mistake of setting foot in a hospital for not too healing too well, and their response was, you're not leaving the building. So I spent the weekend from the bed watching what I could and listening to what I could on the internet. But this year I'm back. A lot of changes have happened. So to figure out my but typically my job has been a technical one. I work with the internet providers directly to be sure that the wires do what they're supposed to do and go where they're supposed to go. Hopefully that worked out pretty well this year from all I can tell. Uh, I'm the Foxish. I am the director of the dealer's room and all of its associated areas, the bodega and the, uh, to an extent, the artist alley. Uh, we made some really big changes down there, literally and figuratively, and uh, some of it worked, some of it didn't, but we have some, some plans for you all next year too. Hope you enjoyed your shopping experience. I liked seeing all the people come through, look at all the wonderful stuff that uh, our fandom is, has to offer for you. There's some incredibly creative, incredibly talented people out there. And it's just beautiful to see that all come together like that. One gigantic marketplace of the uh, furry fandom's finest, really. So uh, I would like to say, and I forgot to do this for a couple of years, this would not work without my team, who are downstairs right now in Hall C, helping uh, the dealers load out and clear that room up. Uh, my assistant directors, uh, Kess and Ryan, this would not work without them, absolutely not. They are the finest, finest people I have ever had the privilege of working with. So I just wanna send a shout out to them. And, uh, we will see you next year, we have some stuff lined up.
Hi everyone, uh, everybody calls me KP. I'm your public outreach and public relations director. Uh, yeah. very kind of um, there are a lot of parties that help make Anthrocon a little bit more special and get the word out. Um, we have to thank all of us here need to thank Molly Evans at Visit Pittsburgh, who helps arrange a lot of the niceties that you guys get. Also, we have started a new partnership with the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership. They will be having other businesses on both Penn and Liberty working with us for more discounts and a lot of other additional services in the upcoming years. of Pittsburgh that we want to acknowledge. We want to thank the Harris Theater for the screening of The Secret of NIMH. Yeah. We want to thank the Carnegie Science Center for offering us discounts to the Science Behind Pixar event. And we want to thank the National Aviary for offering discounts. They are a former uh, charity of ours, which we'll get to in a moment. Also, special mention to Pizza Parma for the Snickers. Yeah. Yeah. any of the other restaurants all along Penn and Liberty and in the area. So we definitely want to thank each and every one of them. A um, Couple of quick notes before we move on. Uh, there are lots of, you guys leave lots and lots of business cards and flyers and all kinds of neat advertisements for fun things. Um, but there's a lot of them. If you happen to see stacks of them on tables or benches or chairs or anywhere, um, could you please pick them up, especially if they're yours, and deposit them either in a trash receptacle or take them home with you? That would help the convention center a lot, and it would make them like us a lot. Um, I, there are some special fursuiters that I want to thank. Uh, the fursuiters who helped us, if any of you saw the segments on Pittsburgh Live and our press conference, they came in a day or two early to help us with those. And a special thank you to one specific person who helped with both. If Aurora happens to be in the house, could you stand up for a second? If you happen to be here. Uh, okay, Aurora is back there. Uh, this is Aurora's first time fursuiting here. Uh, Aurora was able to represent the trans community on top of the to everyone on the board who did not hear it and every staff member. Aurora said, we make it look easy. That is a very kind statement and it's really wrong. It's hard, but thank you. That was a very, very kind statement. Um, I do want to thank all of our volunteers and staff. We do have three departments under my name. Uh, the, the press or PR department, they deal with all of those crazy cameras that were running around and they were stretched really thin because they just kept coming and coming. I want to thank all of them. I want to thank our VIP relations department. Uh, they are the ones who are taking care of all of our returning guests this year, including Sarge Wonsan, uh, Kiki Flipnote, Bill Holbrook was out in the art and the art and dealers area. There's so many of them that were here. Uh, Sue Deer, I can't even list them all. There were so many. Thank you to the VIP relations team. And finally, uh, oh, and there was also our translators who stepped in at the last minute. Uh, to help with Japanese. There is one other department, and I'm going to pass the microphone over to someone else that's under my area. That is the charity department, and I think they have some numbers to talk about and to introduce the charity. <laughs> Stormy is good. So in Stormy's place, Coda, is, Coda, yes, Coda, sorry, stuttered, uh, is going to give you an introduction and some information. I'm Coda. Uh, I'm uh, second in command of the charity team. Um, we've done a lot of wonderful work this year. I just really want to thank our team um, for providing so much support in helping out our charity this year, Great Cause Sanctuary. Um, <laughs>
all of their volunteers have been incredibly active. They've enjoyed every moment of it. I've seen them running around with fursuiters having just as much fun as anyone else here at the convention. The energy they've brought has been phenomenal. <laughs> save old dogs from a horrible fate is just truly phenomenal and commendable. And I am beyond pleased to report that this year for Great Paws Sanctuary, we have raised a total of 91,000. <laughs>
my wife, who is our accessibility coordinator, Morgan, for keeping me safe throughout the year. If you guys would like to participate in our advertising or our con book going forward, please drop a line to publications at anthrocon.org and let me know. Smart. I am the events director this year. Which broadly speaking means that I am responsible for trying to schedule all of the events, panels, and everything that is entertainment or informational in terms of people inside this building and over in the west and the gaming falls under me, all of those things. Um, did you guys have a good time with all the events and stuff? Several of those charity panels that Alkali mentioned were put on the schedule in coordination with me. We had a record-setting number of players in our charity poker tournament this year. We had 103. Yeah, yeah. I won't go into the specific numbers on the panels, but the, the comedy panels that we had absolutely smashed all prior records. I think one of the panels made more of this event for charity than it has made the entire time they've been doing it. <laughs> Events does not run by itself. Um, I have a lot of staff supporting me in my department and everywhere else. We touch on every area of the convention, basically. We touch on charity, publications, safety, registration. We touch on operations. We touch on art show. The, the jazz combo that was in the dealers and artists reception, those people were uh, uh, brought through me because they, they are a part of the programming of this event. It's absolutely sort of a, a spider web throughout the convention. And um, if you want to see some sort of programming, some sort of event, we would like to know what you would like to see. You can email that either, you can put it in the staff, uh, in the uh, attendee survey. You can email it to events at anthrocon.org. But I will tell you, the best way to get the kind of programming at a convention that you want is to run it. We can only put on the stage what people submit to us. If there is a specific type of meet and greet, a specific type of panel you're looking for, and you are capable of running it, submit it. If you are a subject matter expert in some type of area of the fandom, like art, and uh, aren't a dealer in the dealer's room and busy all the time and are good at scheduling, we might need a track lead, someone who can coordinate all of those panels. If you want to help out, the best thing to do is to volunteer, and to offer to staff, we, we, we can't run without you people. We can't run all of this by ourselves. And if you, if you want to keep having the, the best and most wide variety of content available at any convention in this fandom, let's make it happen. Drum roll! Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. 
Five staff that I had to be able to protect all of you this year. So, last year, we, last year we were in a transitional phase with 10, really on roster, and now this year we had 45, which is uh, all done by the, the staff themselves by going out and doing it. I'd like to start off by thanking my second in command, Isu. He's been an absolute wonderful help in he deals with numbers better than I do, so he's awesome. My other two assistant directors, um, my lovely wife, Sharp, and Clementine, they are both fiery and small and will hurt you. <laughs> but I love them. I also have three team leads. It's going to be Wovaka, Tyranny, and Phelan. So I actually had to branch down into three different sections to rank the wall of you, which is awesome. And then I would like to also go and just very quickly thanks to Shannon, Brian, uh, Abby, and Ms. Jen of the DLCC that have been helping me. Let's give one huge round of applause for the folks from DLCC. <laughs> I would also like to thank the Allegheny County Sheriff's Office. Now these guys have, were actually, come to find out, were bickering among themselves to come hang out with us. Because I have several of the officers that have come to me and said, I never in my life had I ever thought I would wear my uniform and wear a tail or ears at the same time. <laughs> and for those of you in the black party that took photos with uh, the Pittsburgh supervisor vehicle, it's all on camera and they love it. <laughs> Your dash camera was still going when you all were taking the picture, so it's really awesome. So, I also want to send a big thank you to not only the Board of Directors for backing me up being so new with this, you all have mentored me completely and my team to make it so that these 17,000 plus attendees make it home and understand they have a great time. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart and from all my staff. Let's give one round of applause for all this time. Today. Some of you actually came up during these medical calls that we were dealing with during these last few days. I had everything from flight surgeon doctors to paramedics that are just congoers that were coming up and offering their services to make sure all of you were safe. Give yourselves one of the biggest round of applause. <laughs> the first year parade was this year and how colorful and bright and awesome everybody was in it, right? That parade had 3,371 of you in it.
Also on the topic of fursuits, we want to thank one special person who did the artwork for our fursuit tags who could not even be here. To Yippie Coyote out in California. Thank you so much for the free artwork. We're sending you the tag. Ethicon, of course, we are a, a volunteer-run organization, but we get so much assistance from so many other agencies around the city of Pittsburgh and, and from afar. Uh, we, we definitely want to, to give a very warm and loving salute to sign language interpreting professionals who have been making sure everyone is able to enjoy Ethicon this weekend. Lauren's down there. Thank you so much. of our 22 partner hotels who have promised me they're going to see about getting us more rooms next year. <laughs> APA Expo Services that set up that first suit parade for you and Teamsters Local 249 who kept everything moving. Some of the executive staff of far-flung conventions, the executive leadership of Euroference was here, the executive leadership of Brazil Furfest were here, they were all working the reg system for us. That's what I love, that we cooperate this community. There are so many people to thank, and I, I do not mean to discount anyone's contributions if, if we, we do not mention you specifically up here, it's just we'd be here all night long if we thanked everybody individually. But I do want to recognize one specific individual who, of <laughs> Me and eight other people have been counting. I'm fat and I'm tired and I ran. And one of you better have $500. Because that's what we need. Five hundred dollars, and we have a six-figure audience-only donation to the charity, which we think is a first-ever thing for a furry convention. Come on! I'm angry and fat, and I have a cane. Only donation of over one hundred thousand dollars. I don't 
don't even know what to say. Um, I do want to know, does this mean that we can come back next year for free? <laughs> we have had such an amazing time. Um, everyone here has been so generous. And I don't know if you heard the story, at one point our little square reader disappeared from the table. And we had vendors running over, here, you can use our square, you can use our square. Customers like you guys were just coming over the table, how can we help, where do you think it's at, where can we look? It's just, everyone is just, and it, it did come back, someone just accidentally picked it up with their stuff. But it was just a true example of how everyone is so kind here and so committed to helping this charity, and not just this year, but every year. And I came here hoping, you know, we were talking like 60, we'll be happy with 60,000, because we know you did a great job with Rabbit Wranglers last year. But all of the things that this board did, like all the extra uh, activities that were put together to generate funds is really what put us over this, this mark, you know? If we had just come here and you guys had just, you know, given us money, we probably would have hit that 60. But it's all the extra work that all of the Anthrocon people did that we just can't even thank you all enough. And then your generosity, your money just came in toward us and we just love it. Um, and we can help more dogs. And so during the week, you know, we constantly get emails from people that need help. And I said yes to every single request because I didn't have to worry about the, the money, you know, that was going to be there for the loyal family or for that dog that, you know, maybe was a little younger than our criteria. And we do make case by case decisions like that. And it was just so wonderful to be able to do that. So I just, I don't know. And I got my husband on stage. <laughs> person asked me, you know, what advice did I have if someone was going to try and start a rescue and, and do something like we're doing? And it just clicked in my brain and I said, you got to make sure you have the right partner because it can go really south. If you are trying to do something and the person that you're partnered with doesn't want to do it or isn't fully on board, and I could not ask for a better partner in this, and I just love you. <laughs> Special shout out to the one standing here, Alkali Bismuth and Boozy Badger, who ran themselves to exhaustion and silence nearly to help that effort. Guys, you have done good. Jen Carter in the room. Is she lurking at the back? She probably ran herself to exhaustion too. Uh, we're working on improving our registration lineup for next year. I'll take the blame for that because in 2023 it seemed to work pretty good. And Jen said, how do you want it set up? I said, do it exactly like last year. And well, that uh, didn't quite work out as well as we thought it would. And I said to her, Jen, I don't know what more we can do. And her answer to me was, stand aside, I'll fix it. <laughs> I'll put my faith in Jen for next year. That's going to rock. I can guarantee you that. Anthrocon standards of conduct while you're still here in Pittsburgh. We all want you to, uh, to have a good time tonight, but please do it safely. Don't break anything. So far, I haven't gotten any bills. Um, uh, the staff is going to be having a meeting on the roof, so if you can avoid that for a little bit. One thing we are doing, we are having a dance in here that we'll be setting up for as soon as I shut up. Uh, we are still having a uh, the Allegheny Ballroom in the Westin open, but since we're having the dance here, let's keep the Westin quiet. We're not gonna have any music over there. That's for people to socialize and talk to each other. Why was that decision made? Because my room is right above it. <laughs> 
Conway. Stand for your word, Dan for Conway. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam Conway, the chairman and CEO of Dan for Conway. deserve your thanks. But it was nice to get that round of applause. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, uh, since there's nothing else on my list, well, except... Uh, actually, nothing else on your list, but you mentioned something that I think everybody's wondering, which is next year. Year. Do we know when we'll be back next year? Yes, we do. Our dates for next year are July 3rd to 6th, 2025, yet again on the 4th of July weekend. to make this an even better Anthrocon experience for all. So stay tuned. You'll find out soon enough what those changes will be. Anything else? Yes, Mr. Humphrey. Just a note for tonight, because we have, like the chairman said, we have moved everything into here because we want you to have a good time, and I'm really tired of him complaining to me. Uh, <laughs> what we will be doing is making sure to please have your badge. I know usually that's something where we allow it to kind of work with it, but due to the fact we're still in DLCC property, if you could still continue to have your badge, even though we're gonna be over officially, but it'll help us keep everybody safe. That's my number one concern. Thank you guys in advance. Thank you. The convention is over. This was fun. Hey, met a lot of new faces I didn't expect. And lots of cool fursuits as well. Oh well. Well, it's the end of the con and people are still packing up. Ah, so many boxes now, so barren. But hey, it was, it was fun. I heard someone just said box con. Amazing. Well, this is uh, the ground level. I'm not inside because only volunteers and other dealers can come in to pack up. So yeah, this is it for the dealer's room. Uh, but yeah, this is the, how it looks like, I guess. It is quite neat. So yeah, as we can see here, we have Homelander. Hey guys, pleasure being here at Anthrocon. I had a great time. You guys are amazing. Remember, Starlight. <laughs> Thank you. Hell yeah, full skunk. Woo! A great day. Oh my goodness. There's so many unique fursuits. Right. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's about to start the Pokemons! Woo! Oh shoot, Pokemon in training. Let's go. Boop. Ooh. My goodness, it's what the noodle dragons are. 
Uh, what is it called? The Easter Dragons. Let's go. Aww. Very cute. Oops. But yeah, very cute as well. This one also has candy stuff. <laughs> nice. Spider made. You know, I don't think I've seen that much spiders here. Very nice though. Yay! Uh, it appears hello. the spy is here. Yes, Again. it's uh, me. I uh, secured the briefcase back in our red base. Nice. I set quite a few protégés. Oh my goodness, there's so many protégés. I don't think you can get them all. Yes, I have a strange sapper, and it's been leveled all the way up to hell zone because of this. You've missed a bunch, though. I've seen some walking around. <laughs> Well, well yeah. I mean, if I was able to get it up all the way to Hale's own, then it should be good enough, right? <laughs> uh, there's not much I can do now except, well, leave it or stay. But I really had to get home. It'll be hours of driving. So, yeah, I really need to go. But, yeah, be, it was fun. Bon voyage! Let's go! Whoops, that was loud. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, bon voyage is also here. Oh. Ah, one more pizza before I go. God damn, the sauce is rich as hell. It tastes delicious. I love it. Look at this entire wall of stickers on top of the giant pizza box from Pizza Parma. Let's double it. Two stickers! I forgot to always like, there's giants here. Giant statues. Look at that fat ass picture. Walking board this way. <laughs> Take him up. Oh shoot, there's more. Alright, it's time to show off the uh, last day's loot. So first of all, I forgot to show off the Anthrocon t-shirt 2024. Uh, it's all wrinkly because I wore it that day. Like the second day I bought it, the, like, yeah, I just bought it and like wore it immediately. So I got more badges, you know, one for like, you know, fun pool toys stuff. Uh, this was for free, like Anthrocon first user. They were just giving it out. Hell yeah. Mystery box with one pin known, three others unknown. This one I got for free, just by dancing apparently. I don't know where it'll be on the clip, but uh, but yeah. Free Pokemon card, I'll have to take a look at that, that later. Also, these are not Pokemon cards. These are just those like front packaging, like recycled into a sticker. And these are a dollar each. So interesting from the uh, artist alleyway or dealer's that No, that is part of the dealer's room. Whoops, my bad. This one, uh, it's, you know that delivery, like, uh, for what the UPS? Well, apparently they were also handing out if you put something in the box, so I gave them a funny sticker, I, which I bought. Uh, one of them was dressed as Homelander, and well, yeah, they have a literal sticker of them being Homelander. And a wizard guy approached them, asked if they can do a video, they were busy, so, they could, but they did give me the sticker. Of course, there's also a pro gen with a car and another one, but it's also I think I forgot what the speech is with the like speaker ears. Oh yeah, this one is from the like uh, like the, what else is handing out for on the lure so free bait <coughs> free uh, bait stuff turning to something that's rewarding. Now I did buy stuff from F class. I bought the mouse pad. I bought the bunny one because red goes with myself quite nicely. I would say. Not gonna lie. Even though, like, I can go for yellow, which would instantly go for my headphones, but you know, I got lots of red. And also, Progen pro is Progen. All three, I love the damn thing, but thing is, I can't have all three because one, it's gonna cost a lot, and two, why would I cover my entire desk and the floor because it would fall off the, de the desk? But yeah, that's all for today's one. I'm gonna start opening the mystery stuff and see how it's all go. Actually, no, I'm gonna lay out everything first. 
All right, here's everything laid out. Uh, let's start here. Tote bag came free with the mystery bag and like the, uh, I don't know, lottery thingy. But yeah, that is completely like, like the tote bag is worth $30 there. Badges, some of them, like this one's free. This one is free. $5, $5. Total $20 for those three. Uh, I think each of the, yeah, three of these is, t I, for I think it's like $10. Uh, these two I actually took myself. I had a camera, so if you recognize this one, then you know what I mean, like why I want to do it. And this one, I, I'm kind of disappointed on how it turned out actually with the camera, but this one is Lethal Company, so it's still very nice. I uh, have two of these badges now. I'm going to have one for funny and such. Also, this one's free. Anyways. Recycle stickers, Pokemon pack, uh, pins, comic, shirt, and ball cover. I'm actually sad because why not from there. Uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, mystery bag right here. I forgot what's in it. Uh, 3D prints up, more stickers, plushies, little thingy. More stickers around here. Oh yeah, I also got some expensive chocolate. <laughs> Anyways, there's also some other stickers and like cards and such. Quite fun. F class. Like, I never actually stuck these onto my like, um, badge because I don't want to like, you know, rip it off and such. But still, I can keep it. Oh yeah, this one is uh, it's like a claw machine, $10. You just constantly call until you get something. So no quarter stuff. This one's from... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is from it. And then Cutie Cumber. That's not actually from UPS. It's actually from one of the Sona's like a theme, but hey, it's fun. This this is actually sold out, so it is popular enough for that. And I'm a straight box. I forgot where it's from though. But yeah, here's all my stuff. I'm gonna have to open all the mystery stuff in three, two, one. Ah shoot, I forgot to show off this one real quick. So this is the first two supplies dot com. Like I bought it there for this cuckoo me, uh, cuckoo me. I think yeah. Raccoon cuckoo me. Heck yeah. This is nice. I got oh, that's some paper, right? cardboard in here. Hmm. Quite wide. Raccoon tail. Ah, so that arms are like that. Neat. Yeah, the bottom is wider than the top, it seems. One of the legs are, has, yeah, it's the same thing as the wrist. Well, that's fun. Also, that would have taken all the room on the bed. Whoops. I need to flip this over real quick. Oh, cardboard. There we go. There's a cardboard there. Tail is just attached. Neat. Okay, so I should actually look at the tags more closely. There's actually something online. There's also a Canadian version, I think. Made in China. Hmm. Clever idiots, ink. What? Polyester. Hood would be. Fuel vision. Yeah, this. Let me do a tumble dry. Tumble. Oh. Let me. Hmm. So it's designed in Japan. I see. Huh. Oh hey, I think I actually forgot to show this pin off. Whoops. Anyways, that was part of, I think. I don't know. Anyways, let's start. Let's start opening mystery bags. Now I did like try to open it so that it's like non-destructive. Uh, but I haven't seen the contents. Let's see this one first. Oh shit, this is Doraemon. 
Yeah, this is the face mask of Doraemon. Nice. Hell yeah. If anyone don't know, that is uh, an anime. I think this is a microfiber cloth. Yeah, this looks like it. I think it would work best if it's like for like a, you know, switch. Stickers. Ooh, cute. Pokemon sticker. Very nice. Hmm, neat. I'm not sure what that one is from. Okay, I think some of these are just like their like uh, original character stuff. Very cute though. Wait, what is this? Hmm. Nice stickers. Hey. Neat. Oh shit, I think this is a stand base of some sort. Oh yeah, this is uh, from the... Yeah. Damn, right? This is actually, this is actually on the tote bag. I just didn't pick that one, like, tote bag though. Oh well. Let's see here. Ah, shit. How do I open this? Ah! I'm doing it with one hand. Unscripted. Oh shoot. I think it's like you put it in. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's one of those like stand up things. Very nice. I'll just put this aside. Now, mystery bag. Two and our pins. Let's see what's inside. I really don't like destroying packaging, so I'm trying to be careful with this one. But this is paper, so I didn't even attempt to open it early because it would, well, definitely destroy the package anyway. Yep. Ruined. Ah, shit. Why is the tape so hard? Damn adhesive. Anyways, there we go. Oh, neat. Mochi and such. Very cute. Hello, cucumber. Business card. Newspaper. Hmm. Keychain. Pin. Candy. Candy. Okay, these are high shoes. I know those. Yeah, these are four different flavors. Ooh. This is a cute lanyard, I'm not gonna lie. A very nice one. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is one of those, like, pop sockets things. Too bad I don't like to use pop sockets. Oh well. Wait, what are these? L little guys. Oh, shit. These are... Resin, I think? I gotta be careful. I don't want to lose these ones. They're so small. There's four of them. Yeah. There's four of them. Sticker. Neat. Another pin. Very nice. Okay, so that is... Uh... The cucumber one. Push this all aside. Oh shit, did I? Uh, no, I did not damage the very pretty, like a business card you had. Just can't put this away though. All right, golden box time. Ooh. That. Dragon, nice. And heart and a skull. Cool. And the box itself has a uh, this one. Anyways, sorry. Pokemon card. I actually like carefully open it because I don't want to damage the packaging, even though it's got damaged already. Oh well. Ah, shoot, it's out of order now. Oh well. I saw sort of whatever's on top. Hmm. A 
Okay. Should actually like that. I don't have much Pokemon cards because eh, I don't play Pokemon cards. It's cute. Hmm, this looks nice. I wonder if this is rare or not. Basic energy, ew. Hmm. Neat. Oh, whoops. Bonkledge. Primeape. <laughs> a sponsor? Huh. I wish I got a sponsor. Wait a minute, is this a duplicate, is it? No, it's slightly more shiny. Let me check here. The cards. No, this is just a better version. And, uh... Knowing Bat. Mm. Neat. So that was the Pokemon deck. Booster pack. Got this one for free, so I'm happy. All right, time for this one. Let's open it up. Hmm. What's in here? Is it loosely plastic? Or, yep, that's a bag with a lot of tape. God dang it. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, shit. Got the tape off, finally. Oh, neat. Wait a minute. These are a lot of pins. For some of pins. Not that they're quite nice. Five of them, too. I forgot how much I paid for them, though. Awesome. Oh, what is this one? This has a custom background and such. Hmm. And a lanyard. Oh, this one has a rainbow tail. Cool. All right. Now that's out of the way. Time for the final one. It's the UPS one. Well, kind of sucked over it, but it is still like you don't want to forget what's in there. So, tough. Ooh, mystery airhead flavor. Oh yeah, it's just, just what's this stuff? That's a sticker in there. I don't want to forget that one. That's not a sticker. Maybe it's I'm not sure. I think it's a yeah, there's Sona. Oh, this is a sticker. Holographic too. Very nice. Another one. I think it's what's a final sticker. Nice. Candy, thank you. Candy, thank you. Candy, thank you. Oh shoot, another final sticker. This one's a Jolteon. Nice. And candy, thank you. Well, that is all my stuff that I got from mystery boxes. I like the diverse stuff, like, and the thrill of, like, you know, mystery. Even though it's like, you know, not that good for money, kind of gambling, but hey, I like it. That concludes my trip to AnthroCon, and I'm happy. I met some cool people there I never thought I'd meet. So yeah, this good guy signing out. Bye!